हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अदीश आई एम अ ग्रेट टेन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम मुंबई हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गो ओवर माई सोल्यूशन फॉर द प्रॉब्लम नेम्ड टोटल प्राइज मनी टेकन फ्रॉम टूडेज स्टार्टअस कॉन्टेस्ट दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अ के कॉक प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज यू ओनली नीड टू नो वेरी बेसिक मैथ इन एडिशन टू आइट्रेटिव एंड कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड माई सोल्यूशन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वे आर बेसिकली गिवन Chef who has recently installed WhatsApp on his mobile device. Currently, he has no unread messages. Every hour, he receives X messages, and he is unable to read X minus Y of those messages. Basically, he is able to read Y messages, and the remaining X minus Y messages he can't read. And those are the number of unread messages every hour. We need to find out what is the total number of unread messages after Z hours, which will basically be. X minus Y into Z, because we know that in one hour, chef will read X minus Y messages, and if you multiply by the number of hours, we will get three into two. For example, in the first example, uh, five minus two is three. Three into two is six, so that's the first output. In the second example, two minus two into six is zero. In the next example, three minus two into one is one, and in the last example, nine nine, nine minus one into two is sixteen. and basically you can verify that the idea of doing x minus y into z will work because that will give the total number of 100 messages after z hours so we basically need to run a loop from 1 to t where t can be up to 20000 and we need to take in the value of x and y and z in one line and in the next line we need to print x minus y into z and note that x minus y will always be greater than or equal to 0 so we don't need to worry about that So now I'll just show you the code which implements the same idea. So in the C++ code, while the number of test cases are greater than zero, or actually while t is not equal to zero, we will decrease t, and we will take in the value of x, y, and z, and print x minus y into z with an endl, so that the cursor goes to the next line. And in the Python code, I do the same thing except I use a for loop. And um, the uh, other part of the code remains exactly the same. I just print x minus y into z. It's only shorter because you don't need to declare the variables. You can directly input them. So I hope you like this problem and my solution. If you have any doubts, do leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.